Get my X back, the strongest and most powerful technique of all, done right, it will amaze you. There are many reasons for a relationship breakup, some are very serious and sometimes it would appear almost impossible to repair the damage that has been done. There are techniques and plans that can be put into place, some work very well, others only up to a point. In this article I want to show you what is probably the most powerful and successful technique that you can possibly use in any attempt to reunite with your ex-boy slash girlfriend or even your ex-wife slash husband. It has a name, it is called an apology, yes that's right an apology can be very powerful if it is done the right way, and a disaster if done the wrong way. The right way to apologize can be divided into four sections, here they are point one. Acknowledge their feelings, this means you need to take some time putting yourself in their shoes. Be careful not to say, I know how you feel, because this is likely to offend. The truth is you don't know how they feel. It is a cop-out. You must acknowledge their feelings some examples, you must feel so, and, depending on the situation. Nobody will ever be mad when you are exploring how they feel. In fact, many times they will try and help you. If a person is mad you should say, you must be so angry, the reply often will be well, I wouldn't say angry maybe just a little upset or maybe, I am beyond angry, I am hurt. Either way, you both come out ahead because you have a better understanding of their feelings and they feel heard and acknowledged. Point two. The why, this is usually first and foremost on their mind. For example, if you were late or if you made a promise you didn't keep or you had an affair. They want to know why. This is very dangerous ground unless you are in the right mindset. You have to take responsibility for the rift. You do this by examining your own feelings and behavior that was responsible for the rift. Even if your ex had an affair you could say you must have felt, feel, so alone and unloved this is very strong and may well bring tears, but it also might be the start of the healing of the relationship. Point three. You are affected too, not by what they did, but by what you are taking responsibilities for. I feel so much pain and feel so guilty that I was responsible for you feeling all alone. I feel so lonely now too, I have lost my best friend and lover. Point four apologize without defense this means apologize and expect nothing in return. Realize that your apology may not be enough for them and that you are vulnerable. What happens is totally up to them. That they may not forgive you now or in the future this is the most powerful step of them all. It is the step that has the power to truly wipe the slate clean. Understanding the mindset and focusing on the relationship instead of not being right or wrong will save you. Coming from the right place in your heart will get your relationship back on track faster than carefully crafted words.